Hello guys, this is the Tishki again, but really it's Juicy Nuts. Um, I'm going to change my name, I've said this in my last video. Um, and this this stage, I'm going to show you what you can do at level 3, and it is very effective to level in uh, to start with, because not a lot of people come here now, because you can see I'm here, standing here. No one's here. And I actually believe man is probably the best XP up to about level 50, because there's so many people in the actual areas where you can kill. And these give 68 XP between HP and Mage, or whatever skill you're training at the time, and they actually give quite a nice a lot of herbs. Now the other thing I would suggest is if you are coming from old school, there's an option you can put on the game settings or the interface settings, we're about to find out. Loot settings, is it? Um, yeah, this select the types of objects you wish to tailor your custom loot to include. Loot, use loot inventory or use area loot. L the increase loot radius to three tiles around the player, enable right click option to interface. So when you actually have loot around you as well, you can just pick it all up with one button. You don't have to sit there right clicking looking through it all, it'll all come up. So like this, I can click on the bones and it'll come up here. And to be honest, everything's worth looting at the moment because everything sells, everyone wants something. That's ridiculous. Level 103 already. This guy obviously has no fucking life. Um, but yeah, I'm um, getting back to the actual point of the video. The point of this video is purely the fact of basically training your levels up to a nice summer level. I mean, as you can see, my mage is still level 29. And I, st I need to get it to level 31 so I can go to, say, like giants, which I am going to make another guide for that, that, that as well. Um, purely and simple most most things that you do in this game the people people will kill you but people won't necessarily go out of their way to kill you all the time because they don't want to have a skull or the, who wants to have a skull all the time and get killed by guards that will smite you out that's not fun uh, but purely you want to just be killing these men until you get to a sufficient level where you can actually go and kill something that you like killing if that makes sense but I, I, I'm used to like old old school RuneScape, you get XP per one hit, so you get 4 XP in your combat stats per hit, and you get a, a HP point XP or some, some shit. Um, I can't really say, I don't know how they work the XP out on this, it's just per kill, so I mean, even if I was to, you know, see like this guy's, if I kill this man here now, I get no XP. Nothing whatsoever. It's same for him if he was to attack my man, he won't get no XP. Um, so it's best to just literally stick to trying to get the kills quickly as you can. And the other thing is if you're meleeing these, I advise you to use a, like, a still skimmer and a still offhand skimmer. So then you have the speed you can kill these man at, they all die before they actually respawn. So you're, you actually have to wait for them to spawn. But again, it's great XP, like really, really, really is good XP. But I'll literally, I'm just going to do this video up till I get either 30 or 31 mage, and then I'm going to leave you guys to either watch this and do it yourself, or you can find another little method that you might find that you might get quick XP. Because I know there's like a lot of goblins, there's a lot of um, like other things around, but these men as well, they actually drop a lot of herbs. Now, the herbs, they're not really selling for high prices at the moment, but, but I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna stock up on my herbs, because I've got about, I think about 25k in my bank. Um, and I want to start live streaming this, but if I was to live stream, I'm scared if people will come and kill me. I don't want to just die. Oh, I'm level 30 mage. So I'm just gonna show you, as well, another little thing, if you're coming from old school, you might actually like this, because I actually find that this really, really makes me, I don't know why, it's some weird satisfaction of getting a new item that isn't even a great new item. In Well, in old school it's not great, I'll tell you that, but this one, it's a battle staff, an air battle staff. I happened to get this in my last video, I think it was. Um, a guy had just come up to me and attacked me, got a skull, the guard killed him, obviously smited him out, and I got his stuff. These are worth about 10,000 GP, so it's 10,000 GP I don't have to spend. Um, I'm, I'm happy, like, and the, the way it looks as well, I think it looks amazing. I mean, you know, you, you, you got the graph. The graphics on this to, uh, to old school is just on a new new level, and I like it. I like it very much. I'm still going to play old school. Um, I think when this dies down a bit, when I actually find to get to the purpose of not knowing how to play it anymore. But I think this game is really, really enjoyable. Like, it's really just a new thing. 
Um, so many people are playing it to be honest. Whenever I've come on the world, so there's at least a thousand people on each world, which is about four or five thousand people active in one one time. That's four or five thousand people that you can actually kill um, anywhere, and you could just get a skull. You, you just do what you want, like, and that, that, that's something I really fucking enjoy about the game. Um, I'm gonna start making some quest guide videos as well. Um, these I can just see it as. They're going to be horrible, to be honest, because no graphics really just... I don't know where to start sometimes. But yeah, you can literally pick up all these bones as well, if you can see. My prayer level is purely from these, man. Oh, and there's some gods, four god statues a month you can build that will give you some nice uh, construction XP, some prayer XP, which I did get. I can now... 31 prayer, very, very nice. And 48 combat, which I'm quite pleased with. But for some reason, but burying man bones and shit, you still get quite quick levels. Everything is 1.5 XP, so um, there's quite a lot of things you can do to make money. To you know, you just I think we need to get the economy set. We need to get a few rich players so they're buying stuff for a lot of money, or stuff's being sold for a lot of money, um, and then the game should level itself out so you can play it quite fairly. But um, other than that, I think I've covered everything. I've not shown you melee and all rare ranging, but I think you all know what that is. It's the same on old school. You have to have your arrows for your bow. And there's all different types of bow you can buy. Uh, so it's all just great fun, really. You're just going to have to have a lot of patience getting around and everything. You can't teleport to other zones if you have items on you, if it's a different vi uh, risk value. But you can either go Chaos Druids as well, but in the wilderness you do risk the run of people coming and kill you. I don't know if it's the same aspect of them getting skulls or not, or if it's a skull that lasts a certain amount of time. But the game is very, very enjoyable. I love playing it. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish it up once we get to my uh, next mage level. As you can see, 31 mage, it didn't exactly take me a long time. I've been videoing for seven minutes, so that come pretty quick. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. I hope this guide helps you. I think going to go into the man, you can even pickpocket them as well. I don't know how much XP does it give you for a pickpocket. Have a little 16 XP per man pickpocket. Now that's pretty fucking good. But um, you can go from there really on your own jurisdiction whether you you want to uh, go and kill like a little higher level things. But I did find killing things a bit higher level. They gave maybe double XP what a man gives but takes you three times as long as to kill it and killing man you could you could literally have you s you've seen the herbs in the last few minutes I've been playing I just keep getting herbs after herbs after herbs and all the herbs sell all the herbs are worth something at this point of the game so it should make the game fun for you if it doesn't then I think you're just an arsehole but thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button um, rate comment and subscribe I'll be uh, making some more videos very soon